George Strait, known as the king of country music and also regarded as one of the greatest music acts in recent decades, is one of the most respected musicians of all time. His voice, unique songs, and genuine authenticity have set him in a class of his own in the music industry. Following more than 30 years of providing the world with great music, he announced his retirement back in 2012. However, the unknown future holds something new for the Strait family, and it is precisely what we all thought it would be. But before we unravel what that is, let's look into the life of the country music star. What makes George Strait stand out from other country singers? How did his music shape the evolution of country music over the years? Join us as we unravel the life story of the country music star and what his son finally confirmed to the public. George Strait was born on May 18, 1952, to John Byron Strait Sr. and Doris Jean Couser in Poteet, a small town located in Texas. He was brought up in Pearsall, a town in Frio County southwest of San Antonio. His father was a junior high school mathematics teacher and a rancher on a 2000 acre ranch outside of Big Wells, Texas. The family helped out at the ranch every weekend and during the summer. When George was in the fourth grade, his father and mother got a divorce and his mother relocated with his sister, Pensy. George and his brother, John Buddy Jr. were also brought up by their father. For the better part of his childhood, Strait was ranching with his older brother and his father. Strait started his musical career during his high school years, playing in a rock and roll garage band known as the Stoics at Pearsall High School. In order to form his own style, he incorporated influences and inspiration from the Beatles and other British rock invasion era groups that were popular during that time. His musical preference soon changed, and he developed an interest in country music with musicians Hank Thompson, Lefty Frizzle, Merle Haggard, George Jones, Bob Wills, Hank Williams, and Frank Sinatra as his style idols. Strait didn't listen to country music radios much as a kid, Instead, he used to listen to the news and the farmer's report. He was mainly exposed to country music through seeing performances, which was, according to Strait, a common thing in every town in Texas. In this way, he was able to gather all manner of diverse and varied inputs that would eventually form the basis of his own unique style. George Strait's career as a musician got more attention during his years at college, it was at Southwest Texas State University in San Marcos. Strait found his place in the country band, the Stony Ridge. By answering a recruiting flyer, the band posted across the university looking for a new vocalist. This was where he began to polish his guitar and vocal skills. The band played at different local nightclubs and bars across South and Central Texas, and even as far east as Huntsville in Houston. Strait renamed the group the ace in the whole band, and before long, he became the band leader. They acquired a certain regional popularity and opened for national bands, including the Texas Playboys. D Records, an independent label in Houston, gave them the chance to record several singles that Strait had written, including That Don't Change the Way I Feel About You and I Can't Go On Dying Like This. However, the songs did not get any widespread acknowledgement and Strait continued to work at his family's cattle ranch during the daytime to earn some extra money. Strait continued playing with his band and still had no ties to the music recording industry. He later became friends with ERV Woolsey, who operated one of the bars where Ace and the whole band used to play. ERV was a former employee of the major label, MCA Records. Woolsey was able to convince some of his contacts in Nashville to come to Texas and listen to Strait and his band play. They were impressed, but later on, they could not offer a deal. The thought that they could not market the Western swing sound that the band played was the biggest problem they faced. However, Strait continued to visit Nashville in the hopes of landing a record deal and was rejected by every single label. Tired and disappointed, he decided to leave music. He made the band aware of his plans to leave but after a conversation with his wife, who advised him to give music another chance for one more year, he reconsidered. Not long after, Strait was signed to a recording contract with major label MCA in February 1981. 
The initial agreement was for just one song. If the single did good, the label would then consider releasing an album. The ace in the whole band still remained with Strait and performed as the backup and touring band of George Strait's new solo career. In the spring of 1981, MCA Records released Strait's first single, Unwound, which climbed to hash six on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart that year. It was later included in his first album, Straight Country. The album came out with two more singles, Down and Out, and If You're Thinking You Need a Stranger, There's One Coming Home, which were also hits. Straight Country became such a super hit that critics accepted it as a new traditionalist breakthrough, which was a refreshing change from the pop-dominated variety that was prevalent during that time. Straight came up with another album, Straight From The Heart, in 1982. The album had the first single of his career to reach number one, Foolhearted Memory, and Amarillo By Morning, which was also a top five hit as a Western ballad. In 1983, Strait made his debut at the Houston Livestock Show in Rodeo when the headliner fell ill with flu and had to cancel, and Strait stepped in for him. Since the rodeo performance, it has remained his trademark throughout his career. He has been in the rodeo arena more than 20 times and has played for over 1 million fans. Strait had 17 number one songs during the decade, including a set of five that spanned from 1983 to 1984 from his next two albums. The albums were Right or Wrong, which was his first number one album, and the CMA award-winning album, Does Fort Worth Ever Cross Your Mind? The following year, he won the CMA Award for Best Male Vocalist and released his first compilation album, which was a collection of his songs from those first three albums. In the year 1985, Strait released Something Special, the third number one album in a series, with The Chair Song as its top single. In 1986, he received the CMA Vocalist of the Year Award and attained the number one spot for his fourth album. This period was the turning point of Strait's career. It elevated him to superstardom and made him one of the genre's key figures. Despite all the ups and downs that occurred in the personal life of George Strait, he managed to maintain a steady and calm attitude. He has been wedded to his wife Norma for decades, and their love story is recognized as one of the most enduring in the history of country music, S Classics. George and his wife Norma were lovers in high school, but neither of them could wait till they had announced their relationship to their respective families. They eloped on the 4th of December 1971, after they graduated and got married at a private ceremony held in Mexico. The same year, Strait joined the U.S. Army as an infantryman. He was stationed at Schofield Barracks in Hawaii with the 25th Infantry Division. Here, he auditioned for and joined an army-sponsored country music band known as Rambling Country, and he performed both on and off bass under the name Santee. Strait served in the military for four years from 1971 to 1975, and then he got to the rank of corporal. During his army years, his passion for music did not fade away, and it was precisely at this period that he excelled as a performer which would be the foundation of his great career in country music. Both Strait and Norma have two kids. The first child, Jennifer, was born on October 6, 1972. Their son, George Harvey Strait Jr., popularly known as Bubba, was born in 1981. But the family's happiness was short-lived as their daughter, Jennifer, at 13 years old, was killed in a car accident in 1986. The United Press International reported that she was in a speeding car that flipped while it was trying to make a turn and she wasn't putting on her seatbelt. After Jennifer's death, he carried on with music and work, but for numerous years, he did not speak to reporters. This loss that broke George's heart was one that deeply scarred him and his family, and the pain runs very deep even now. Not only has George dealt with this loss, but he has also encountered other problems that come with his music career. He's had to face a lot of pressure of being famous. These include media intrusion and being a public figure who is always under the scrutiny of the media. Nevertheless, George has never lost his sense of being down to earth and keeping his family and music as the top priorities in his mind. Not surprisingly, 
George's personal life remains the primary inspiration behind his music, witnessing elements of love, loss, and resilience in his songs that reflect from his own life experiences. The art of nostalgia and his talent for connecting with fans on a personal level is the key to the popularity of his works among so many people. Besides music, Strait also has some other hobbies that he enjoys like steer roping, golf, and skiing. Strait and his longtime friend business partner Tom Cusick created the Vaqueros del Mar, Cowboys of the Sea. This is an invitational golf tournament and concert which is an annual event at Strait and Cusick's Texas Hill Country Resort, Tapatio Springs Resort in Bourne, Texas. The Invitational Championship is a money-raising event for David Faherty's Troops First Foundation, which aids wounded soldiers, military personnel, and their families. In its first year of 2012, more than 5 million US dollars were raised by the events. In January 2018, George Strait was presented with the 2018 Texan of the Year Award by the Texas Legislative Conference, which is a statewide organization of business and political leaders. In 1992, Strait made his first movie appearance in the movie Pure Country and released many songs for the soundtrack that formed the basis of the film. The main character in the movie, Dusty Chandler, played by George Strait, was a very popular country artist who spent more time off the beaten track beyond the country sound. It granted him the chance to go beyond his southern style with an altered rock and roll sound. George Strait is the biggest legend of country music having received the most awards in the genre. He holds the record for the number of number one albums and singles, gold albums, platinum albums, and multi-platinum albums in the history of country music, and is at 11th place in the most number one albums in all other genres. Strait is the only artist behind Elvis Presley and the Beatles to have the most gold and platinum recordings in the history of music. He is also the 12th best-selling artist in American history with a career record sale of 70 million in the United States. He now holds the record for most number one hits across all charts and genres with 60 number one wins since 2013 and is the only artist in the history of any type of music to have a top 10 hit every year for 30 years. Strait also ranks second all-time in top 10 hits in the history of music, just five songs away from breaking the all-time record held by Eddie Arnold, who had 92 during his illustrious career. Strait has accumulated 22 CMA awards, among which is the Entertainer of the Year Award, which he won in 1989, 1990, and 2013. In 2009, the artist was recognized by the Country Music Awards Association as a holder of the record for the most CMA awards. This earned him an invitation to the Country Music Hall of Fame in 2006, and he rocked the stage with his then number one hit, Give It Away, just before the presentation of his new shiny plaque. He is the second largest artist in history after Eddie Arnold, inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1966. However, he is an active record producer, and his latest albums and hit singles continue to be top charts. In October 2008, the Academy of Country Music Awards remarked Strait as the Artist of the Decade for the 2000s. On June 8, 2010, Strait was selected to be the top country music artist of the past 25 years, according to Billboard. Additionally, he is the only artist to win the Entertainer of the Year Award in three consecutive decades, which puts him ahead of everyone else in the industry. George Strait is an American country music singer, music producer, and actor, and his current net worth is approximately $300 million. George Strait is known as the King of Country, and is one of the most famous recording artists of all time. Counter to the majority of his colleagues, George Strait retained the traditional elements of country music and encouraged many others to get away from the pop-influenced sounds that were increasingly popular in the 80s. Strait is one of the best-selling artists ever. He has sold over 120 million records worldwide. Among all of his albums, 13 went multi-platinum, including the eight times platinum Pure Country, and 33 attained platinum status. Throughout his career, many questions revolved around George Strait. Who will replace George Strait when he retires? 
Would country music fully stay the same? All of these questions and many other ones were being asked by the fans, and everyone already knew probably what the result of Strait's retirement would be. The idea that George Strait Jr. would be the torchbearer and continue the legacy of pure country music was in everyone's mind. This belief was not just an imaginative guess, it was the logical result of what fans had seen throughout Strait's career. Both the father and the son had worked on their best tracks together. What's more, Strait Jr. has co-written some songs with his father and has also performed together on stage with both of them donning cowboy costumes of shirts, jeans, and wide-brimmed hats. All of that generated rumors of Strait Jr. becoming the one to carry on his father's legacy. Now at 43, George Strait Jr. has confirmed what we all suspected right from time. George Strait Jr., known by his nickname Bubba, was born on May 14, 1981 in San Marcos, Texas. While studying at Texas A&M University, he began his competitive rodeo career. Eventually, he became a roper with the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association, as stated by the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Bubba then participated in many of the various events, including the 22nd George Strait Team Roping Classic that was held in 2004. He roped for some time until he nearly severed his index finger while trying to do a wayward loop. George Strait is a full-blooded rodeo fan. For 35 years straight, he was the producer of the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association Team Roping Classic and finished up the annual event in 2017. A decade earlier, he told the Team Roping Journal that team roping was his passion and his biggest achievement was winning with his son. Bubba may have ceased to hit the headlines, but he is also involved in music. A young Bubba's voice can be heard at the beginning of the song Heartland from the 1992 movie Pure Country. And as an adult, he has worked with his dad in co-writing songs for albums such as Living for the Night, Out of Sight, and Out of Mind. Bubba co-wrote songs on George's next four studio albums as well. Here for a Good Time, 2011, Love is Everything, 2013, Cold Beer Conversation 2015, and Honky Tonk Time Machine 2019. In 2014, Bubba and his father took the stage together in Arlington, Texas, at the last stop of his two-year Cowboy Rides Away tour. The pair performed his single, Arkansas Dave, a song Bubba wrote himself. The country music king gave his farewell performance at AT&T Stadium in what became the most attended concert ever in North America. The attendance was 104,793, which smashed the Rolling Stones' previous record. Strait was in the middle of the huge stadium surrounded by 10,000 temporary seats on the floor on a rotating stage accompanied by his Ace in the Hole band. Fans of all ages traveled from far and wide to Arlington Stadium where they were able to relive the glory days by singing along to all his greatest hits. George Strait retired from touring after the show, which was filmed for CMT's George Strait concert special of the Cowboy Rides Away Tour. Alongside his dad, Bubba also represented his family at a few red carpet events, including the 2007 Country Music Hall of Fame medallion ceremony, the 44th Annual Academy of Country Music Awards Artist of the Decade event in 2009, and the 50th annual ASCAP Country Music Awards in Nashville in 2012. Bubba does not have a social media account, but his wife, who is also a realtor, Tamara Strait, frequently posts pictures of them together on Instagram. The two have been together since dating in 2005 at a San Antonio Spurs game where Tamara was a silver dancer. In 2010, Bubba and Tamara got engaged, and a few days later they tied the knot. They have two kids, George Harvey Strait III, born in 2012, and Jillian Louise Strait, born in 2016. Bubba is not as famous and known as his father. Nonetheless, he has recorded achievements and milestones in his musical career. Strait Jr. follows in the footsteps of his famous father by keeping the spirit of country music alive and exciting for the years to come. However, Bubba's musical journey is also his chance to make his own road and leave his own mark on the industry while being inspired by his father's legacy. Like his dad, Strait Jr. is allowed to choose what music he wants to listen to 
and how he expresses himself. Through this, he'll contribute to the musical family's illustrious background and ensure that it keeps growing and developing with each new generation.